Hello, this is Thomas Supaka speaking. Following areas are related to mobile testing. This is the test management, manage, the concrete test automation on the mobile device, automate, and service virtualization to virtualize backends and engage feedback in an early stage. We will focus on service virtualization. Therefore, we will use the Rational Integration Tester, which is used for creating and developing stops and for component testing itself. We start with the architectural school to get a clear understanding how our application is structured. The Integration Tester provides several views for recording, test organization, test execution and the results. We have a logical and physical view. The physical view contains the concrete information on connection to the real systems. Russian Integration Tester supports several technologies, protocols and schemas you can see here. Take a look to the test organization. Inside the test organization you can organize tests or stops, for example. This is the stop development. That's a concrete stop we created before. The stop will react with a concrete value on a request. See how a recording works inside Rational Integration Tester. The Rational Integration Tester agent will observe the communication between the backend system and our mobile application. We will use our mobile application like we did in the functional testing. Log on, get the accounts, and when we get the accounts, you can see there is an interaction with the backend. This information is observed and documented inside Rational Integration Tester. We finish the recording and we will examine the concrete requests and responses we want to store as a stop. We have the ability to store it as a test or as a stop. In our case we want to create a stop. For our stop we want to get a clear understanding which response and request belong together for one operation, which provides the account, which provides the account details. Later on we will configure the values for the responses in each operation for our stop. The operations we just recorded must be associated to a component. We create a new component to reflect that we just created a new recording for our accounts. Our recorded operations will be associated with this component and also our new created stop will be a part of this component. Inside the test factory we can see the organization of operations, components and the stop. The stop contains the operations and if you want to create a more complex stop you can also define a specific behavior on inputs and then variables if you want. In our case we will not do that. This is a simple stop with a defined request and a defined response to this request. To reflect that these responses coming directly from our stub, we will change the values inside our stub. For sure, this could be also more complex if we want, maybe to react with data pools and information depending on the input and the requests, but as I said, this is a very simple step, just to see how the recording works and how to define a simple step with hard-coded values
for testing applications. We will execute our stub in the test lab. Currently, you can see that the stub did not react. We will start our application and we will use the application like we did before. Now, the data will not come from the backend system, the data will come from our stub. And you can see here the data value comes directly from the stub and we can see the stub reacts on a request. This was a simple usage and a simple creation of a stub using the rational integration tester. Inside the rational integration tester, the stub will only run for five minutes. To really to use the stub in a productive environment, we must deploy the stub to the rational test virtualization server. To deploy the stub to the rational test virtualization server, we must go back to the test factory. Inside the test factory, we can select our component and say publish stubs. When we publish the stub, we can give the stub a name and associate it with an environment. Later on with the integration with the Rational Quality Manager, we can use the environment information to run stubs directly from the test management when a test execution is started. But this is more in detail for later videos. I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching.